Hey guys, I'm Sink. And I'm Echo. And we're back once again playing To the Moon. In the last episode, we failed <laughs> to connect uh, Johnny's desire to uh, go to the moon. So now we're trying to figure out what we can do for him as his health is failing. He's in yellow now. Video games have taught me that it's bad. Yes. Uh, let's head down. Go back to this room again. Let's revisit all A broken of these music box. paper rabbits. Yeah. The chest is locked. Okay. Those are the two things I wanted to check out. Uh, this was the studio. This is a study. study. Whatever. Let's go outside. Yeah, why not? Let's head over this way. I don't think... I think more likely the lighthouse might have something for us? Question mark? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Nope. Okay. Let's check the lighthouse then. This place is so peaceful. Yep. Oh yeah. Um they never explicitly say, but I was supposed to talk about what River has. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead. So oh, better go see if Neil has any idea. But okay. River has autism. Okay. I think I believe it's autism. And the book that they mention in the office, it, if you research that up, it, it's actually a real book about autism mm -hmm. by that one dude whose name I don't remember. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hmm. What is it? Seems like our little Johnny has some hidden records from his old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect to, on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads me to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. In such a large amount. The impact on his memories of the time administered must have been significant. You think that's what kept us from going out of his early, er, earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the re reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desires to for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But there's just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the building, in, in the bi bridging uh, inaccessible memories. We have to, we need to give it to John for him to simulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We already got a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going out, going out to get some fresh air. Ahem. Forgot my coffee. I was going to say, can I drink your coffee? I was going to say, is that mine? <laughs> Beta blockers. Huh. I... It smells! Quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill! Ava, it smells! I, I know, it's your fault for running it over. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. 
Wait a minute. That last memory. The one that we were stuck at. It was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I... what? It he... means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for a memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge your childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he's still susceptible. I... I think I'm missing some vital, uh, contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome! Now, we just need to go fetch that piece of roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran it over. Exactly. I've already done my part. <laughs> oh, uh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. <laughs> Cut to black. Um, uh, okay. They aren't really disposable gloves, but they'll probably change after this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, her sprite has uh has has gloves on now. Yeah. I thought that I hit your um your tower again <laughs> and caused it to go black. <laughs> but then I saw the other screen and it did it. Yeah. Heading on down. Heading on down to get me some roadkill. Huh, deja vu. But what if we're in a simulation? <gasps> Simception. Simception. Oh, flowers block my path. Well, it's just me and you now. The kind of things this job gets me into. It's not safe to bring in just a piece of germ infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. It at least make its odor controllable. Okay. Where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. Outside. Me too, Lily. Yeah. Me too. What a mess. <laughs> the, the, the crash shook everything up. <clears throat> Let's see. Ah, here it is. Received a valued container. Vowed. Vowed. Now to get some of that dirty world kill. We should have brought like a pair of tongs, was it? Prong, prong, tongs to like grab the world kill. Yeah, contained road kill odor. And then we drew away the gloves. Okay, and back. Onward. Onward. Question is, hi Neil. Oh, hey. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great. Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I... I gotta go feed my digital pen. What? Yeah, do that. I'm feeling retro. Anyway, hurry and go get some things set up. I'll be in there in no time. What are you? We got someone dying back there. She's not wrong. Yeah. What the potato is he up to? I've no time to check on him now. Or do I? No, I don't. <laughs> or do? No, I don't. <laughs> Do do. So, so when we get to that exact point, I will send a signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. 
Have you made sure that the germs are all sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not that it matter to a dead man. You should know Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Lucky, the last thing we need. Luck is the last thing we need. Okay, Act 3. They shine their lights at the other out lighthouses and at me. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Give it, nice. because we already did this. I am... I am in him. I am in Johnny. We are already in Johnny. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kick out of this. <laughs> we right. are now taking over Johnny. Yes. Okay, so... It's you and me again. Soccer ball. To think this little thing is causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick into outer space. I suppose all we can do now is to send a signal and hope. Well, ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Yep. Boing. Boing. Something's happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? Well, Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory now. What are you talking about? Is the stable if the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You've gotta be kidding me. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under the state, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny Oh you freaking Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie where you, and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here! Screw that! If you're gone, then they'll sit, probably pair me up with All Star. All Star? All Star. That's what I did. Yeah. You know how bad he smells? Worse than Roadkill. Damn it, Neil! This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. The truth come out. Oh. Well. Doctor. Doctor. Er? <laughs> Doctor? <laughs> Doctor? Er? <laughs> I think we're okay for now. To be fair, there was just ellipses and then a question yeah. mark. <laughs> and guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. Wait a minute. Yeah, in the last Christmas party, you... Oh. <laughs> they just been yelling at each other for the entire time. Come on, let's go before all that happens again. Um, you know what? I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? <laughs> Here goes nothing. I know he was about to kick it. Yeah. Into the childhood. Okay, what shit went down here? Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure I'm going to like this place. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to like this place either. 
What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Uh, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I don't think I did. I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm Shit, wrong. Shit, what was in his room? I wasn't paying that close attention. What was in his room? Check up here. I just check everything. Okay. Well, there's no memory links. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You've got got to take on take them there one day. Oh well. I just gave that woman a male voice. <laughs> Okay, Johnny's down there. Let's make sure I don't have to ride horses again. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay let's talk about... I'm going to quickly run up here, see if there's anything up here. No, okay. Just black emptiness. Jeez. Time overlaps getting out of hand. Heh. <laughs> Looks like the ball's moving around on its own and he's just change it, chasing it. Look how much many of him there are. It's like a zoo. Mm -hmm. All thanks to this little fellow's sac sacrifice. I, I hope. hope. Oh, jeez, look at the time. I better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. He, she's supposed to have a male voice? Excuse me? <laughs> Don't go changing it on me now. Say hello to the boys for me. <laughs> I will. See you around. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind, Dad. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place, it's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could ever do such a thing would be... Shit. Duh. We need to go back. Now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. Shit, what's going on? Shit. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. What? Yeah, me too, Doctor. What? Did you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny's two bunk, on a bunk bed. bed. Oh, that's right. I did see that. I thought that was odd.
Does... Yeah. That was the second thing I was thinking. Why did his mom, his mom always call him Joey? It's not because his dad died. It's because it's his twin brother. Oh, no. I'm so, I, I can't bring myself to voice this. Joey. Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had those beta blockers to erase his memory. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memory probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seemed to have gone a little cuckoo. At least, I don't really think she called jo Johnny Joey as a nickname. Yeah. But then if she takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Nope, Joey. Seems like it wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd. It's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Dude, you should have totally give the series a try. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three of these books straight. What's it called? Animorphs. It's about a group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Meh. I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great! Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul bad big aliens. They're all like, rah, 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 rah! And then they pick up lasers! And that's all pew 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 pew! Pew 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 pew! Stop that. <laughs> Just watch, Johnny. One day I'm gonna be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both the UMR really big houses. How are you gonna get rich if you give away books for free? Free for kids? The parents will have to pay for them, of course. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What, are you still mad about the other day? Aw, oh, come on. I called the first dibs on the train, fair and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, not just... Let's not talk about that. You know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true! Remember last Christmas? And last Easter and the time we went fishing and... Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe... You know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yeah! I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? Listen, Johnny, what's, what's the difference? Doesn't make whose owns what. Everything that's mine is yours too. I mean, we're both gonna play with it, right? Yeah. Right! I mean, come on! You're my twin brother, dude! You're like a part of me! Oi! Let's go confuse the neighbors! 
Wait, in the rain? Guess in the rain, come on! Dude. I have to say, as... Well, we both have siblings, but... Yeah. To have your parent favor one over the oh, other, other. Yeah. is not a nice feeling. It doesn't matter if you share everything. Yeah. It's just that... It's that favorism. Yeah. The fact that you are like... It is make you feel lesser than the other sibling because of it. Yeah. And... Yeah, we, we can see what effect of losing Joey did to their mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she still think Johnny is Joey. Yeah. And that that's it's I know it's terrible to lose your kid, but if you're trying to make your other kid the kid you lost, that's ter that's shit. Yeah, really is. Oh, you ruined it. Fruits, fresh fruits. Apples, oranges, and tomatoes. We got it all. Wait a minute. Tomatoes aren't fruits. Uh, yeah, they are. They are the ovary of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes? We never refer to them as fruits. We who? I happen to enjoy cooking groups, okay? Some of us take it very seriously. Fruits, 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 fruits. fresh fruits. I have to say, though, um, it's better than the time that pizza was declared a vegetable. Yes, right, exactly. <laughs> I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your price for Tay Bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, that doesn't make sense. Joey wanted a fair and square, didn't he? But I won too. He just went first. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let you play with the two. See how nice your brother is, Johnny. Okay, you two dumplings, don't block the stand now. Come on, let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. You know what? I'm gonna call you the dumpling from now on. You're Maybe. bluffing. Ah yes, fortunes and wonders lie ahead of you. This one just might become a lawyer and this one a doctor. Oh my. Come, I'm getting both of you treats. Hey, where's my tip? Notice the use of might. Yeah. No way, I'm not talking to her. Good or bad, I, I'd be screwed either way. <laughs> Welcome and behold the, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. <laughs> Looks like someone's just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know, don't care. Mmm. That sounds really good right now. It does. It requires three bars of memory to proceed. Okay. Slide. That's a wooden slide. Yes, that is. Can I? I can't go up it. These kids won't know. Games that don't have slides that don't let me go up them. Three bars to proceed. Do you want to give me? Do you want me to give you? Give a me hint? a hint. Yeah. Play whack-a-mole. Whack-a-mole. Yeah, it's the sli it's the oh. booth where they got the train. Okay. Hey, isn't this whack-a-mole? Whack-a what? Whack-a-mole. Take them out and whack moles. Is it that animal abuse? Hey, they're fake moles. But head. <laughs> but how people blew off steam before FPS were invented. How primitive. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit every everything on the head when you win. Yes, 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 yes. Uh. uh yes. Uh, use mouse. Okay, yeah, recommended. I mean, I didn't change it. Oh, I didn't want to do arrow. 
Okay. I'll press C. Arrow keys and C. Got it. Remind you of that one Diglett episode. Oh wait, did you watch Pokemon when you were younger? Yeah. Ironically, when you switched to the mouse, you went over to the other option. Time's up. Let's see now. Out of 39... Appearances you struck uh, 39 times and it made 33 successful hits. 40%. That's a new record. 40%? Are you kidding me? That was 89. 80, 80 yeah. Wanna play? There doesn't seem to be any more memory links to this. Yes. I wanna hit the mouse. There you go. Damn it. You missed one. I missed one. Diglets! Diglets! Oh, come on! It looks like it was supposed to be on there and hit it. Yeah. If I did, I probably did worse. 40. Oh, I did better. New record. Cool. Cool. Alright, so that was three memory links, yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, let's go over down this way since that's that's where the family went. Onward. With it. Okay, no, okay. I want to know what you're singing. Mmm. I never understood you, Joey. How can you say the taste of them? They're so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. Nah, I don't want to taste reg- I just I never once taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Nah. I'm done, though. Can I go play? Okay, but only on the playground. And that isn't too, an inch too far. Not an inch too far. Just leave your bag. I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I won it. Ah, so that's why it's such a big memory for him. All right. Those horses that probably doesn't move back and forth yeah. like in the playground nowadays. Right. He went an inch farther. Way to follow mom's orders, huh? Well, when you have that much stuff to explore, I would go to. Look, see, there are people on the bench. Yeah, but they their mamas didn't tell them not to go. <laughs> <gasps> he jumped the creek. Wow. Wow. Well, okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? 
There was a hill outside my, the city that we'd stay. The same one every year. We'd watch the stars until daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. Thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping. We hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend I had actually slept. So, in conclusion, that's the story of how I stayed, stayed started my caffeine addiction. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's real. You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. All these nice memories, lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment by moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I, I told your bags, you Pax Tigers dwell here. Don't go! I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you want to join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? Look at him. Did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know... You still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes me want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everyone in the world, nearly e everywhere, everywhere in the world, ev nearly everyone's called named John. Even in India? Probably. What's wrong with that? Ah. Uh, What's wrong with having a name that everyone else has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once. J to have the same name as everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Huh, I suppose. What do you think those stars are up there? <laughs> Why do you what do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad says they're a giant burning spears of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, Kangaroos, that stuff. Have you Ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yeah. Huh. Of other things. No, I've never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah. We'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes out one first. Okay. 
We'll start in three. Three, two, one, and start. I see it. Uh, where? In the sky. Uh, but where in the sky? Think big. Eh. Uh, Bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! I see it! Tell me what you see. There, right, right? The two ears and the head. What else? And there, and there's the two feet. Yes, what else? And, and the moon! The moon is its big round belly. So, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses, stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be really lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there, and they want to talk to them. But they can't, because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from far. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses, and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag, what's in it? Oh, it's the prize I run won from Rack of whack -a -mole. Did you get to play the game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a thing. I don't really know what it is. It's some kind of weird duck beaver thing. May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! Eek! That's my mom calling me. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah. I can always get another. I don't want to like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep. Will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What What do you forget? Or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny! Coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. If they ever get lost. Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought I was gonna be... It was gonna be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known it was some girl that would come along and turn into a cheese fest. I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. Shit, they're gonna, are they going to erase her? It's what we're contracted to do. Damn it, Eva, wait! Eva. I know you're in here. Okay, guys. Uh, we're gonna pick this up on the next episode. Holy crap! Oh wait, little tidbit before. Uh huh. The icon we have on our channel, I put the rabbit on it. 
I didn't know if you noticed. Oh, no, I don't think I noticed. No. That's very cool. That's very cool. Awesome. All right. Well, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.